I'm just spending 10 minutes knitting a couple of rounds on the Brave at Heart mittens. These are going to take ages. Well, the beginning bit's going to take ages because I hate knitting rib. Well, I really dislike it, but I especially dislike it on two millimeter needles with light fingering yarn. This is whole super soft and it's like a, um, it plumps up apparently. It's the first time I've actually used it. Um, I have got some more in stash, but it's the first time I've actually knit with it. And it's supposed to plump up and like kind of um, bloom, uh, but it's quite fine. Um, definitely a light fingering. And I'm knitting these on 2mm, like I said, so it's a bit more fiddly because lately I've been knitting on chunkier needles. And although this is rib for the cuff, I've just changed colour and I'm knitting the first round just knit rather than in rib. So I get a nice clean join in the finished article and I won't have those little wee bumps. But actually knitting rib, I think most because it's so slow. I, I mean, I'm not knitting particularly fast because I'm trying to talk and film at the same time here. But um, I'm not a huge fast knitter. And I tend to knit continental now. And I, I found I preferred knitting continental when I first started knitting colour work. And I found that knitting continental was a lot faster than knitting English style or throwing. But, although I can pearl continental, I'd kind of do it, I think it's, is it Norwegian pearling? Sweet, uh, it's one of the Scandinavian pearling of some, I think it's Norwegian pearling, where, and I kind of figured it out myself, because I wanted to be able to pearl uh, continental style, but I hold my yarn over my middle finger rather than my index finger, so I can't kind of wiggle my finger back and forth across, um, the needle so I figured out a way of doing it and then I saw somebody on a podcast or on a, a YouTube video doing the same style of pearling continental as I do and realized I actually had a name and I'm pretty sure it's like Norwegian pearling or something like that but basically all you're doing is picking kind of wrapping the yarn and I'm going to try and think now wrap the yarn putting it through the through the the, the stitch pearl eyes and then kind of twisting it and picking it up and taking it back and threading it through to make a pearl stitch which is fine and I tend to do that if I only need the occasional pearl stitch say if I was knitting lace or uh, like in the Hermione's everyday socks you've got like I think it's three knit stitches one pearl stitch so throwing in one of those every so often isn't so bad. But if you're doing a rib where you go and say knit two, pearl two, or knit one, pearl one, it takes just as long as it does to just do a throwing style. So if I'm doing rib, then I will tend to knit it throwing style and switch to my other hand. And it takes longer, but it's a bit more rhythmic compared to say doing a regular continental stitch and then throwing in a Norwegian, I keep calling it Norwegian, I'm hoping it is, Norwegian pearl stitch. So I'm just knitting this, I'm getting all in a tangle because I've got like so many threads here. So I'm just finishing this round continental style. Hope I've not dropped a stitch there. No, nope, I'm good. And now that's so much better and now I will switch to English style which is how I learnt to knit initially anyway um, my mum taught me how to knit uh, I think she taught me how to knit like years ago when I was a little kid and I just it wasn't really interested and then when I was expecting my oldest son who is almost 22 and that makes me feel really old <laughs> um, when I was pregnant she taught me how to knit dishcloths, cotton dishcloths 
so that's how I learned to knit and but I, again I wasn't really interested and then I started crocheting around oh let's see maybe 15 years ago kind of the friend taught me and then picked up again properly about 10 years ago and I crocheted for a few years and I wasn't that interested in knitting. I knit, a, I knit a couple of bits. I knit a couple of scarves for my sons when they were little and things like that. But I'm quite clumsy or what um, my nana would call cack handed. Basically, I would butter fingers. So knitting needles would slide out my fingers and yarns would slip off and stuff like that. And then I discovered bamboo needles and I kind of went from there. I'm knitting on this on a bamboo needle, but only because I don't have a two millimeter. Um, birch needles otherwise I prefer birch needles I don't like knitting with metal needles I prefer wooden needles but I don't particularly enjoy knitting with bamboo needles anymore I got my first pair of Knit Pro Symphony or Symphony or whatever they're called and kind of never look back I still have one of those packs of cheap circular bamboo sets that I bought before and uh, I still go back to them for certain tasks like if I'm swatching for a garment or an item and I don't have the size of needle in my knit pros or medical needles then I will grab whatever size I need in the bamboo swatch for them say yep yeah, I need that size and then I can buy the needle tips that I need from interchangeables because I didn't buy a whole set they're just too much money to buy in one go especially if you say you don't ever need I don't know like a, a nine millimeter or a, I don't know 3.25 or something silly like that so I just buy the sizes that I need when I need them so like I says I can knit ribbing quicker English style and get into a rhythm rather except getting in a tangle now get into a rhythm rather than um, continental and be twisting my hands around everywhere uh, I can do it though I just don't I don't enjoy it at all so I'm just doing a couple of rounds on this and I'm just doing a couple of rounds at a time because otherwise it'll drive me crazy I'm not a fan I once took a mitten I think it was last autumn I took a mitten that I just started the cuff to uh, a craft show and that I was doing with my sister I, where I was selling my yarns and she was selling her knitwear and uh, I took a mitten that I just started along so that I could work on the cuff and I pretty much knit the whole cuff whilst I was there in between customers which was nice because it just broke it up a bit and uh, it got it done and out the way uh, rather than using my knitting time my relaxing knitting time to knit something I actually enjoy knitting and then I could get on with the colour work bit which is the fun bit I like watching colour work grow especially in a mitten where on something like a sweater you're doing a long row of all kind of the same pattern and it takes a long time for the colour work yoke for the pattern and the, the, the picture as it were to appear whereas on a mitten it's quite uh, quickly you say oh, I'll just I'll just knit to the end of this so like last year knitting the pumpkin spice mittens by Elia Skin it was like well I'll just knit to sort of like the end of I'll just knit the, the sauce a bit on the cup or I'll just knit just knit the cup bit on and before you know it you've have a mitten so there we go there's a couple more so I'll do probably do one or two more rows and then I'll get on with my next task of the day Gryffindor. I'm not Gryffindor but he's a Gryffindor
quarter to six in the evening and it's been a pretty unrecordable worthy afternoon. Uh, I've done a little bit more knitting, uh, edited the, po the podcast, the vlog from yesterday and took delivery of an order of plasterboards that's, what's that called, drywall if you're American. Um, the delivery driver arrived with a ton of those today and jumps at work so I've had to help unload those and put those uh, out of the way of the rain so husband's happy now though because he has something to do for the next few days so just about to start the dinner next not sure what i'm going to make yet still got some leftover veggie chili i could bulk that out maybe mm, pasta pasta sounds good oh if i've got some wraps oh burritos burritos that's it i'll have burritos for tea 